goodness you guys that was the weirdest school drop off I feel like ever the vibe is just weird at the moment people are scared of each other it's just everything just feels insane this feels all surreal this is the first time in South Australia that we've actually like felt COVID like really really felt it I feel like since it started um, especially in my local area it's been all over so there's been lots of lockdowns and things like that um, lots of exposure sites in my local area so it's just I don't know it's weird anyway we're gonna start the day off with the shops I know crazy right um, I actually have a couple of errands to run I haven't been able to do it in about a week so we're gonna go run some errands and then when we get home I'm gonna show you guys what we've been up to for the last few weeks because I have been so MIA honestly school holidays was crazy we had Matt away for five days he went on a boys trip so I was solo parenting for five days and that was insane um, and then we had the COVID outbreak and the boys have both been sick Jakey is still quite sick um, so yeah it's just been insane but I will fill you in a little bit more when we get home but for now we're gonna hit up the grocery store you happy? <laughs> Okay, we are home. This little guy is in the best mood, which is great because usually it's not the case. Um, he literally just had a three hour nap, which is so not like him. But it was actually a really good and good timing because we're at the shops for pretty much the entire time. And um, then I can have the cover down on the pram and, you know, he's just a little bit extra protected. Anyway, now that we're home, I'm going to have some breakfast. Um, I've been fasting this morning, so it's about 12 o'clock now. So I'm going to cook myself some bacon, eggs, avocado and tomatoes. I'm so excited because I'm starving and it is delicious the way I make it. So I'm going to show you guys in just a second. Um, here in Australia, you can't get everything but the bagel seasoning. At least I don't think you can. I can't find it in any of the supermarkets. So I typically put some sesame seeds on it, some poppy seeds, and then some garlic powder, and then pepper. I think that's all I usually put on there. I don't actually know what's in everything with the basil seasoning, but apparently this is pretty much it. So we're going to make breakfast. I'm going to give this little mister some lunch. Yeah? And we're going to get some housework done because I haven't been able to do housework properly in weeks. And then we're going to show you guys some tricks that this little guy can do now, huh? You got lots of tricks up your sleeve. Do you want to tell them what you can do? Do you say, I can stand up all by myself now? I can. I can stand up all by myself now. Oh, you're so cute. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Oh my goodness, you guys, it is 4.30 in the afternoon. I have no idea where the day went. I have been semi-productive though. As you can see, I put the photo frames back on the wall. There are so many command strips. If they fall down, there is just something wrong with what I'm doing. Um, but they look so cute. I'm so happy with them. Um, I mentioned this morning I was going to show you some of the things that we've been doing around the house because I have changed it up a fair bit. Matt went away for five days over the school holidays, so I was solo parenting. And while I was doing that, I thought it would be a good opportunity to make the house just feel more homey. And I'm so glad that I did because we ended up going into lockdown. And um, one of the things that I did was I got lots of house plants, like bigger house plants, and I swear it helped my mental health so so much having plants in the house while we're stuck at home for a whole week especially given that we don't have any grass or garden beds or anything done outside yet because that's coming in spring hopefully um before christmas we'll have a backyard done but <laughs> i've got no idea what they're doing um i did do a couple of things i ended up bringing my desk out here i wasn't sure how that would look out here given that it doesn't really match our table and stuff 
um but it kind of matches the kitchen so it doesn't look too too bad but it's definitely helped having it out here it means that i can use my computer i can edit and do things during the day that i couldn't do before because the boys um need supervising or jakey if he's home during the day needs supervising and it just makes things so much easier for me especially at night time as well being away from their bedrooms um, so I've got that here at the moment. We are going to build a couple of shelves to go above it to put my cameras and things on, but I think it's so cute. Um, I just, I feel like I need to have a cute chair there. I don't know if that chair just doesn't look that great, but, um, yeah, I did that. Oh my goodness. Um, so these are the plants that I picked up. I have no idea what this is called, but it is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I actually split this into two separate pots. So I've got some in my bedroom as well. And then we just have the umbrella plant that I bought a little while ago there. And then we have a fiddle leaf. Sam picked this out all by himself. So that's why we have that one. Um, but yeah, it just definitely helps pick up my mood. On our table, I changed things up. I need to change the water in that pot, but I did just pick some eucalyptus leaves. I think this looks so pretty. This is the candle that I got before. It smells absolutely divine. I was burning it today, and then I just have the Ikea um, candlesticks. Isn't that just so cute? I am obsessed with it. I didn't know how I would go with that table runner, not going over the ends, but then I remembered I have kids, so it's probably best just to have a smaller one in the middle of the table. Eventually, I would like to get one that goes the whole length, but for now, this one works, doesn't it, Sambo? Yeah. And up here, these are the pictures that we um, had printed. So we've got Matt and Sam, <laughs> and then Jakey and I. Then up there, we've got Jakey and Sam. They are so cute. I love how they came out. And then over here, I changed things up a little bit as well. I picked up this little sign from a little shop at the Grove. They still had some there. So if you're looking for something like that at the Grove um, in Golden Grove, they had some. And oh my goodness, I am obsessed with it. I love having little sayings around the house that just make you stop and think about the bigger picture, especially when you're having a crappy day. Um, and then over here, I did some work as well. Um, I have all the baby stuff that I'm about to pack away. I am totally not okay with this, you guys. I have been putting this off for a very, very long time. I'm not ready for the baby stage to be over. And if we're not blessed with another baby, I don't know what I'll do. I, I have it in my heart that I know that I need to have at least one more baby. I think Matt is done right now, especially the fact that he still doesn't sleep through the night. But me, I just, I don't know. How do you guys know when you're done having babies? Because I feel like I'm going to be the kind of person that is never done. And I don't know how I feel about that. I'm just, I'm so torn. But I do need to pack this stuff away. This here has been sitting in our room for, I want to say, six months holding clothes. And I've just got to a point where it has to be packed away. But at the same time, it's really, really hard and I can't bring myself to do it. So I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to rip that band-aid off. I'm going to put all of this stuff away and clear up this space. Um, so obviously the swing has been packed up as well. I bought out Sam's train table. Jakey absolutely loves playing with this. Um, these are pretty much all his toys. And then I have got this basket from Target just as a bit of a collector for all the toys that get bought out. Um, rather than trying to take everything back at the end of the night, I can just put them there and then once a week sort them out and put them back in their rooms. Over here, I have some more plants. You guys, I've turned into one of those crazy plant ladies, but honestly, how pretty are they all looking? Um, and then we just have a few things here. And then I also hung the boys' birth posters back up. I just, I wanted to be able to see them. I love them. I love looking at them every day. They just, it makes me so happy to see the three boys there together and represented on our wall. Um, I did change them though. They used to be on this wall here, but I feel like they look so much better on this wall. It just makes this area feel a little bit more cozy. So that is pretty much done. I think the last thing that we need to do is replace that TV, which might possibly happen. I'm not entirely sure. We are possibly gonna get a TV, but at this stage, um, it's still up in the air. So hopefully we will. This one is so old. It has lines in it. Matt tried to fix it, couldn't fix it. Um, honestly, it's the kids' TV. It doesn't really matter anyway. And then, did I mention the fridge? <laughs> we finally got our fridge. Um, that was another thing that we were putting off until the house had been painted because honestly, I wouldn't put it past the painters to just splatter paint all over it. And if they do, I'm going to be so mad. Um, but you guys, I love it. You guys of all people know I've been banging on about getting a new fridge for 18 months, almost two years because in October we've been here for two years. Um, 
and it finally happened and I'm the happiest person alive. Honestly, it's the simple things in life when you're over 30 that make you the happiest like a fridge. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today I am vlogging with my mum's camera. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be Hi. Honest, don't pass me by. How's it doing, Gaff? It's doing fine to me. How's it doing to you? Cross it in the comments. How you're going today, guys? And just like that, we don't have a little baby anymore. Tonight, I'm literally gonna cry myself to sleep. I just know it. It is definitely witching hour in my house. We have one um, Mr. Dan here. The other one is on the couch watching Tim TV. I am about to get dinner going for everybody tonight. Matt and I are going to be having a Vietnamese roast pork um, salad. And this is going to be keto friendly if you are wondering. I do have the recipe in my highlights on Instagram, but I'll put it down below for you guys so you can check it out. Um, the sauce is really easy to make. It is three tablespoons of fish sauce. Um, this is pretty high in carbs. It's 2.1 grams of carbs per tablespoon, but um, you need it. I don't know if there's a lower carb one on the market or anything. Let me know if you know if there is or not, um, but we are going to use three tablespoons of that. We're going to put a tablespoon of garlic in, quarter to a third a cup of stevia, two limes, the juice of two limes, and then some chili. That is obviously optional depending on if you like it or not. Um, <laughs> typically, this tastes better made ahead of time. So if you can make it the day before, the flavors just go together better. But um, I don't have the luxury of time tonight, so we're just going to do it as it is. And then the pork, I'm actually going to air fry it. Pork belly in the air fryer is so dang good, you guys. Um, but yeah, I don't have pork belly tonight. I've just got this click and collect, changed it out in my order. So we are just going to go with it tonight. And then I just literally put that on a bed of lettuce and cucumber. Um, and then sprinkle over some crushed peanuts. And it's delicious, you guys. It's so, so delicious. So filling. Um... Yeah, let's get started. Feeling in my bones, I could feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. Okay, now that the sauce is done, I'm going to start with the pork. Now, typically, I would... <laughs> Jake is following Sam around. Um, typically, I would pull this out of the fridge many hours before I'm about to cook it and let it warm up to room temperature and um, let the crackling dry out. But I do not have the luxury of time tonight, so I've just dried it out as much as I can with paper towel. So hopefully, the crackling still works. Um, I'm going to salt it up now. I did preheat my air fryer to 200, degree, 200 degrees Celsius. Um, I don't know if that's necessary or not. Google says that it is, so that's what I do. Um, seems to work well for me. So I'm going to wait for that to finish preheating, salt this up, get it in. Um, I think typically I'll put it on for about half an hour at 200 degrees and then drop it down for about 20, 25 minutes, um, depending on how big the piece of meat is at 160 degrees. Sam is going to have some pasta sauce on pasta and Jakey is going to have some pasta with his um, chicken and sweet potato that I pre-cooked and froze. So he's going to have chicken and sweet potato sauce. Sam is going to have pasta sauce. Um, these are the little dinosaur pastas. Both boys absolutely love them. Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it's 
sure I wanna get high on Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know Oh gosh you guys, the kids are finally in bed The kitchen is somewhat tidy it, it is what it is tonight. Um, Matt's lunch is made for tomorrow. He is having some pork salad. He's going to take that as leftovers. And then I've got Sam's lunchbox um, half set up for tomorrow as well. So I just need to put in a hot lunch for him because it's so cold that I want him to have hot lunches um, while he's at school. And I also need to put in a yoga as well. But I'll do that in the morning. Right now, though, before bed, I'm just going to have a sneaky little treat because... I earned it today um, at night time I typically will have a couple of berries so I'll do like two or three strawberries and then a few uh, what are these they're not raspberries blueberries a few blueberries with some of the fro pro ice cream so this ice cream is 1.6 grams of carbs for a whole quarter of a tub and I'll just have a small scoop of this with some berries it is so delicious if you haven't tried it get it get on it is um i think it's only available in woolworths so you have to keep your eye out there i can't find it in coles i don't think coles sell it but um oh my gosh it's so delicious anyway i'm going to end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i'm so sorry it's taken me so long to get a video out i keep saying that i'm going to try and be more consistent but now that sam is back at school hopefully i'll be more consistent i should have an I should have another video out in the next couple of days for you. So keep watching. Make sure you're subscribed so you get notifications. Also turn your notifications on because if you don't, then you won't get notified that I've uploaded a video. You guys get the gist. You guys watch YouTube. I will see you guys in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.